This is Dr. Greg Mendel, your friendly anatomy professor. We're looking at the pectoralis major. We could see that this muscle is different than the pec minor in that the pec major goes all the way up to the clavicle and the sternum. The pec minor, which is underneath it, as you could see this pec major is removed, it does not touch either the sternum or the clavicle. So the pec major originates on the medial one half of the anterior part of the clavicle in an anterior lateral aspect here of the sternum. And so this is the sternal division and the clavicular division of the pectoralis major. If you look at this model over here, we do see that origin here as the anterior one half, medially, half medially, of the clavicle, the anterior lateral border here of the sternum, and it inserts into the humerus along this blue line right here, number 42, 48, sorry. And so as this muscle contracts, the remember there's a branch here and here, so it adducts the arm, it internally rotates and flexes at the shoulder. So again, adduction, internal rotation, and flexion. Think of this as the bench press movement.